Over a hundred years ago, a curious discovery was made in a town now named after this Upart, Rockwell within Texas. An ancient wall was unearthed, and although it was clearly of an artificial nature, its possible age predictably made a number of people in the academic world deny its artificial origins in favor of a far less likely scenario involving natural formation. Although magnetic exploration suggested that the rock wall had been where it lay for over 100,000 years, its origins have been heavily debated ever since its initial discovery. In 1852, farmers in Texas were digging a well when they discovered the wall. Conservative estimates have placed its creation some 100,000 years ago. Yet now, many believe it to actually be an antediluvian relic left by a now-lost civilization some 200 to 400,000 years ago. Dr. John Geisman of the University of Texas, Dallas, tested the rocks as part of a History Channel documentary, giving credence to the denial of its artificial origins, suggesting they formed where they were, claiming that they were all magnetized in the same way. This tremendous age has led many to believe in modern paradigm, to deny a man-made origin, as this does to corroborate with the Bering Strait theory and currently upheld timelines in regards to evolution. However, there are others in similar fields who have found curious characteristics of the wall which do indeed suggest artificial origins. Geologist James Shelton, for example, and Harvard's architect John Lindsay have focused on its unique design features, including architectural elements, archways, lintel portals, and square doorway and window openings, which all suggest not only artificial creation, but functionality for humans, which nature would simply not create. The depth or past height of the wall is also an impressive legacy. The family of T.U. Wade, who moved to the area and initially made the discovery, dug to a depth of 40 feet to try and find the bottom of the wall. This excavation, however, was abandoned without finding the bottom. Years later, in 1949, Mr. Sanders of Fort Worth took up the baton and continued excavational exploration of the wall finding a number of megalithic stones at considerable depth and weighing several tons. After bringing them to the surface, mysterious pictographs were found upon them, further supporting the thesis of artificial origin. In addition, curious metal rings of modern composition were found embedded in rocks, suggesting the presence of lost technology. It would appear that the wall is indeed an antediluvian relic, one possibly submerged and subsequently buried in ancient sediment during the Great Flood. Modern studies have found that the wall is in fact six stories tall and 20 miles in length, with a number of individuals now attributing the wall to a lost civilization of giants due to its inexplicable nature. Quote, it is good when examples like rock wall appear that test our abilities and cause us to question basic Newtonian mechanistic assumptions that have not been modified for over 150 years. Physics had to abandon this approach at the turn of the century, opting instead for relativity and quantum mechanics in order to further their understanding of matter and the universe," said James Shelton, geologist from New Orleans. It is a relic which we find highly compelling. We know more about the surface of our moon than we do of the bottoms of our oceans. To date, we have managed to explore a mere 5% of the floors of Earth's oceans. Much remains to be learned and indeed explored. Unimaginable mysteries, treasures, and the possible odd sea monster could all still be lying deep within the blackness, irretrievable, and thus undiscovered. Our oceans are the lifeblood of the planet, covering more than 70% of its surface. Responsible for the driving forces behind weather systems, the regulation of global seasonal temperatures, and ultimately, supporting all living organisms in one way or another. Just what could be laying upon our ocean floors? Lost relics from a bygone era? possible crashed ancient alien craft? Indeed, 
we have already discovered the enigmatic El Tannin antenna, which was discovered resting deep upon the Antarctic seabed, found some decades ago. Yet what else could be lurking down there, just waiting to be discovered? It seems, fortunately, that an ROV, a remote-operated vehicle, managed and controlled by the Olympic Challenger, may have managed to give us another glimpse of one of these utterly perplexing structures resting deep within our oceans. Recorded on September 11, 2010, it is still unknown just what this object could be, possibly ancient, seemingly installed, sunk into the ocean floor at a considerable depth. Curiously, the recent event unfolded during a live feed broadcast, and for some reason, as soon as the ROV came into visual contact with this most peculiar of objects, or indeed possible structure, the crew controlling the machine mysteriously decided to maneuver the ROV away, out of view of the object. The small fragment of footage that was seen, however, indicated that the number of right angles within the structure's form, and indeed its overall appearance, makes it seem unlikely to have had natural origins. However, due to the company's reluctance to discuss or even acknowledge the event, not much regarding the discovery has been attained. Just what this thing was may remain a mystery, or at least kept secret, hidden away from most of the public domain. I have said in passing uh, that there is information about UFOs in cable games. A year ago, we shared with you the leaked State Department emails, files, and documents made available to the public by way of WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange which pertain to the United States government's full awareness of a UFO crash site near the populated northern town of Igloolik, northern Canada, very near to the borders of Greenland. This object subsequently sinking to a great depth, it then began to emit a mysterious ping, a possible distress beacon, a sound which for some time began to annoy a large number of the locals. Since this event a few years ago, the strange ping has seemingly disappeared, and the fate of its source remains a mystery. An unfortunate fate which may also be bestowed upon this most recent and intriguing of discoveries made by the Olympic Challenger. Yet thankfully, the world got to see it first.